everyone remembers where they were and what they were doing. I was in Washington here, chairing a Veterans Affairs Committee hearing when a group of radical jihadists hijacked four airliners to perpetrate the worst act of terrorism in American history. Today, 21 years later, we remember the horror and pain suffered by those who were murdered and the anguish felt by their families and friends both then and now. On the morning of 9-11, I got a mere glimpse into the sense of horror suffered by the victims' families when I couldn't reach my own brother, Tom, an American Airlines 757 captain who often piloted Flight 11 from Logan to LA, the flight that crashed into the North Tower. After several hours, I finally made contact. He was okay, but he was friends with the crew of Flight 11, all who were killed that day. I asked my colleagues to strongly support H.R. 8987, the Fairness for 9-11 Families Act. This legislation addresses a significant shortcoming in programs made available to the widows and children of 9-11. As I think members know, in 2015, Congress created the United States Victims of State Sponsored Terrorism Fund to provide compensation to Americans injured in acts of international state-sponsored terrorism. Despite the obvious connection to the 9-11 surviving family members, however, a mis misinterpretation of the law by the fund's special master unjustly barred sponsors, spouses, and children of 9-11 uh, from participating in the fund. In 2021, at the behest of Congress, the GAO conducted an investigation and found that 5,364 victims, spouses, and dependents were excluded from the fair dis uh, restitution due to a technicality in the administration of the Victims of State-Sponsored Terrorism Fund. H.R. 8987 provides immediate relief with a lump sum catch-up payment to the victims' immediate families. For two decades, Mr. Speaker, I have worked with the Jersey Girls to achieve justice, that's what they call themselves, wonderful, wonderful widows uh, who have tried to achieve justice uh, for those who committed these horrific crimes and for those who suffered and were left behind. Because of them, we got the 9-11 Commission, and I was the chief Republican sponsor of that bill, but that wasn't because of what we did here as much as it was because of the work that they did in walking the halls and trying to get people to support a 9-11 uh, fund. I would point out to my colleagues that Tom Kane, our former governor, uh, headed up that, along with Lee Hamilton, uh, the distinguished former chairman of the Foreign Affairs Committee. And what they produced after their hearings became the blueprint to protect America. As they noted in their opening statement, and I chaired two hearings about implementing the report, what they said was, we are safer but not safe and they prescribed both administrative and legislative actions that should be undertaken uh, to protect America. I would note that Kathy Wisniewski, who works on my staff and lost her husband, Alan, who's with us today, uh, Kristen Breitweiser, Mindy Kleinberg, Lori Van Oaken, uh, Kathy Meyer, and her sons, Joseph and Daniel, and the next generation of 9-11 family advocates, including Angela Minestrulli and Brett Eagleston, who lost parents on 9-11, were the driving force in achieving this win today, which again is a modicum of justice uh, for their egregious loss. I want to thank Nicole Maliotakis, um, our Congress friend and colleague from Staten Island, for her work on this and her bill, as well as the chairman's bill uh, with Has a Pay For. And uh, I think this is an important, important piece of legislation. I hope every member of the body will support it. Yield back to balance.